guys, Danielle here, your entertainment diva, and this is Diva Dish, the program where I dish the latest entertainment news that's trending out of Hollywood. First up, I'm talking couples news, and it looks like Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey and her husband Peter Thomas, well, they officially now are separated. We all know that they've been on again, off again, with the rumors that started circulating last year about Peter Thomas possibly cheating on Cynthia. He is officially now living in North Carolina. Cynthia is residing in Atlanta, and the two have separated after being married for only six years. Cynthia did say that she doesn't know what the future is going to hold, but for right now, she's working on her modeling agency, keeping herself busy, and she still does love Peter, and she hopes that they can resolve this issue, but if not, she did say that Peter is someone who will always be in her life. So we wish them nothing but the best. Sad news, though, to hear that another Hollywood couple could be possibly calling it quits. In TV news, it looks like Live with Kelly, well, they're still trying to figure out who's going to be her co-host now that Michael Strahan has taken that position with Good Morning America. But the good news is, is that they're looking to shake things up. A woman could possibly be Kelly's new co-host. Names like comedian Wanda Sykes and even Sherry Shepard, who is the co-host on The View, have been thrown around. Now, there's no positive um, word as to whether or not these two ladies are in the top running because there's also some men in the running as well. Anderson Cooper, who is a favorite, and even actor Tay Diggs. So it's just a matter of time as to whether or not it'll be a woman or a man that's going to be sitting next to Kelly and co-hosting the new version of Live. And finally, TV news has gotten a big shakeup with The Real. We all heard that Tamar was fired. People are still trying to speculate as to why she was fired. We've heard tons of rumors that advertisers didn't like her. We also heard rumors that focus groups, educated women, were saying that they didn't appreciate Tamar's use of slang in her. Oh, you got this girl lip smacking in ghetto s ways. But now it looks like if you're a fan of WeTV's show, Braxton Family Values, you might get a little insight as to why Tamar was fired. They've been teasing that they have an episode coming up where Tamar actually lets Tony, her big sister, know about the firing, and she's trying to figure out why it happened. So we're just going to have to watch social media. All you Tamartians out there, give your support, because on Twitter and Instagram, they've started this campaign, hashtag bring Tamar back. So it's just a matter of time as to whether or not she'll be rehired on the reel, or maybe Tamar will go off and do her own thing. Again, time will tell. Well, that's gonna do it for me, a little jolt of entertainment news to jumpstart your week. Make it a great week, and I'll see you back here next week. I'm Danielle, your entertainment diva.